Okay, I guess I AFK'd for too long. I got full inventory of rune scimitars and there is one more rune scimitar on the floor, but I'm gonna be leaving this place. So this is a new spot. I don't wanna say that I found, but this is the one that I originally wanted to review. This is not the one that I showed yesterday because the yesterday's one is absolutely packed. There are so many people doing that spot. I think there are like two people per world, so it's like impossible to do anything in there and I need... I think I'm gonna go through this obstacle because I have no teleport. Oh, actually I do. Now this spot is not as good as the one that I showed yesterday. It only gives you around 185k experience an hour AFK instead of 210k. So they're similar, but it's still, it's not as much. And let's, let's try check all of these rune scimitars. It took me like, what, three hours? If you look, XP gained. This is from 575k magic experience. 342k i think it's definitely worth to just banking all of them because you know i am on my single player account I, I just had so many chaos runes in in the bank i had like 50,000 from battles so it's like where am i gonna use them why not buy some death runes and just go and burst for 10 hours and this is exactly what i'm going to do in this video we're gonna see how many rune scimitars i'm going to get and i'm also going to show you two well, I guess one more new ch uh, chinning and bursting spot because just like I said, the old one that I showed yesterday, fucking packed. So let's fly to a patrol. For this route, you're going to need a knife or any slashing weapon, but knife is better because you can drop it. And if you're collecting something like rune scimitars, just an extra space that you would be saving. Same with the pickaxe, just take something that you can drop, but I did not take it. So let's go down here. And also you're going to need a light source, which is kind of obvious if you ever been in here. This is the spot that I would never use because I think there's like 15 monkeys or something. So if you kill like 7 of them, you're not even maximizing experience anymore. This is the spot that I showed yesterday. It's still the best, by the way. It's still the best. 210k magic experience an hour as uh, opposed to this. What What is this? 185k or something? So it's going to take you like 4 minutes to get to that place. It's very, very long way. That's like one downside about this. And if you do not have completed Monkey Madness 2 quest, these monkeys will attack you. And these are archers, and that's why you want to take food with you. I have completed the quest, so I don't need to take food. You also need anti-poison for the scorpions. The only monkeys that are aggressive are these maniacal monkeys. Also, I cannot show you the way how to get here because the path is different for everybody. Some people open one chest to get the key, some people open the other chest. Some people go to the south web, some people go to the west web. Like, I cannot go to the west web. I have to go, like, I don't actually remember places because I'm not here at the moment, but you get the idea. Try everything and try to move forward. Do not go backwards. Some people don't even need to use webs at specific places they just go through like some kind of obstacle it's a long way it takes like four or five minutes depending if you have stamina potions if you don't have them then you're kind of fucked because it's gonna take you a long time and here it is the hole and there's another hole somewhere in there but it's the, it's the same dungeon so it, it takes you to the same dungeon this is basically the path on where you killed Kruk. and the first kill i get the prayer potion thank you monkey thank you very much yeah, so if you go through here, it's going to be the agility obstacle and where you killed the black monkey, the Kruk, where you took the paw from him. So yeah, it's, 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 that's where you have to go. This is under him. The first ice burst that I did, I reset my timer. So it's been now 40 seconds. I already got one prayer potion, but uh, after I killed this one, I, I'm sure I'm going to get uh, one or two more prayer potions. Because again, they're very, very frequent. And here we go. Here, th that's another prayer potion. Uh, again, most of the time it's like four, five, six prayer potions if you don't pick them up. But I, I will pick them up. There we go, that's another one. You don't need prayer in this place. You know, in my last video, I didn't say that it's it's so good because I brought my own prayer potions, but then I realized if I'm gonna camp this place for a long period of time, I'm going to need this. Hey, guess what? We just hit 10 hours. XP an hour, 157k. Experience gain, 1572k. The reason why experience is so low is because I took a break. Uh, well, I had to go to, to buy something in the shop in real life. And also, I was banking those rune scimitars, and just getting back to this place just takes like 10 minutes, you know, 
including banking and all that. And I think this is one of the better places to AFK because, I mean, look, look, I'm hitting so many monkeys. Unless I'm auto-retaliating to this one, it's actually fine. Like, it's really good. But you see this train of monkeys? I don't like that because that means they're not getting hit. And actually, I, I used to stand in here, but I would get huge train up to this wall even. Like, just monkeys standing, waiting to be killed. And another wall in here. So you would, ha you would have to move quite a bit. So for AFK purposes, this is where I'm stand. But again, this may not be like the most efficient way. Hey, look at that. Go to your own scimitar. Let's pick that up. It's pretty good though. It's pretty good. Well, uh, this was uh, 10 hours of killing these skeletons. I gained 1.5 well, not skeletons, it's monkeys. I gained 1.5 million experience and let's go to the bank now. Right, so let's see how many rune scimitars I got. I think I banked like three times, so I should have like, I'm guessing 70, maybe 80 rune simis. Let's go for rune and I have 77 rune scimitar in the bank and it is worth 1.2 million according to OS, OS buddy, but it's usually incorrect. This time it is correct though. So I used 9 million worth of runes and I got 1.2 million back. I did not use any prayer potions because again you just go down there with one prayer potion and that is really enough. So what is my magic level? Because I have no idea. I never checked my magic. Oh it's 97 or 96. Yeah that's, that's okay. I mean the only reason why I leveled it up is because of the trident. So I can hit more. Or is it more accuracy? I forgot. I think it's just hitting more. Maybe including accuracy as well. Uh, yeah, so that is going to be all for this video. Thank you for watching. This is just to test out a new spot. You know, n not that overpowered one. But because uh, it's crowded. That's the thing. It's crowded and people need something else. Yeah, but thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and bye. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering why I didn't pick anything else like Addy Arrows Poisoned. is because they drop only five Addy Arrows. I mean, it's... Even if you collect for 10 hours, it's not going to be anything significant and you would be losing, potentially losing the experience because you're picking it up. I know it's possible to freeze and then pick it up, but you know, it's tedious, like, it's, come on, it's like, what, like 200 GP drop. Why would I pick that up?